Hey guys, Naisha here, you know, just an average girl. Today marks the anniversary of the 1986 Transformers the movie that came into theaters and bombed big time, but gathered a cult following in the years to come. And I've seen this movie millions of times. My VHS can attest to that. Last year, when it was in theaters, I mentioned in a video that I saw things that I've never seen before. So then I decided, if I'm gonna watch this marvelous masterpiece of a movie, I'll watch them all. All at the same freaking time. It was exciting to see how this movie has been fixed over the years to bring us the fans enjoyment and in all honesty, a chance to Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Before we continue on with this video, I just want to mention a couple of things. But what we have here, we have here the VHS. Yes, the quality sucks, but let's face it, it's nostalgic. So for those who like the VHS, you know, I, 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 I feel you, I feel you. So now, as for the DVD, we had a lot of heckling because if you haven't noticed, Hot Rod looks pink, don't you think? And a, not a lot of people liked it. I always thought that he was red because of the VHS. For the 4K, I love the quality of it. However, there's a blue hue and it was annoying me throughout the rest of the movie because it caused certain things to be like a deep orange. Now, the only good thing about it is the things that were red, I loved it because I loved that deep red, especially out of Optimus. That was amazing. But I'm gonna have to give the winner when it comes to the best uh, movie to watch it on is the Blu-ray. Because not only does the Blu-ray give you that nice deep color, it makes it more realistic, even for a cartoon. So not only do I like the quality, but I like the depth of the Blu-ray. So now that I got that out of the way, let's continue on with the video. I enjoyed it, but my computer hates me for it. <coughs> <coughs> Unfortunately, I found nothing, so it must have been my imagination. Last year, Shout Factory released a 35th anniversary, and I was excited. But then I discovered something that made me question, were we robbed? Let me explain. When you order the exclusive version of the movie, you're given a poster a steel case, and four cardboard texture-like cards. You would think, not bad, right? Well, take a look at this. I got it from a website called Zavi. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Look at this sick puppy right here. This is the UK's Transformers The Movie 35th anniversary box. It's not a steel box, but of course it comes with a 4K disc, a double-sided poster, an art book illustrating Transformers the movie, and six, count them, six glossed large paper poster cards. It's obvious who the real winner is here. Over the years, we the fans got some cool things from these releases. The Rhino version introduced us to the infamous swearing from Spike. Look! It isn't even dented! Oh shit, what are we gonna do now? The 20th gave us a chock full of cast members as well as a really cool interactive menu. The Blu-ray gave us restoration Unfortunately, the 4K with its clean look didn't really give us anything that the Blu-ray doesn't already have. So why don't they just create an extended version? If Shout Factory can restore the movie's looks, why can't we go even further beyond by adding additional scenes? It's really not impossible. I mentioned in my last video how Disney took the time to animate a song that was removed from the movie and put it in their 10th anniversary DVD. So you can either watch the theatrical release or the movie the way it should have been. This YouTuber is working extensively to animate scenes that could actually fit into the movie. 
Hell, this YouTuber took the time to add the missing scenes into the movie itself, fixing the audio to work in a cohesive manner that it was like watching the movie, and I loved it. It's a whopper, all right. So if these guys can do it, I'm sure people like Hasbro, Shout Factory, and Toei can get together and for the 40th anniversary, make an extended version. With today's technology and editing and audio and video, the possibilities of this is endless. If Top Gun Maverick used an AI to imitate Val Kilmer's lines using his voice from previous movies, who's to say that this can't be done for this movie? In a video released by the tech company Synantic in August 2021, the company revealed that they culled together old recordings of Kilmer to create a computer-generated version of his voice to remarkable effect. A phrase we often hear is, having a creative voice. Kilmer was so impressed by what Synantic produced that he issued a statement saying, Synantic masterfully restored my voice in a way I've never imagined possible. I know what you're thinking. They're not gonna listen to us. They're not gonna do it. But hey, it can't hurt to try. Majority of the scenes don't have talking parts. They're just a lot of cool action scenes. And I would honestly love to watch a behind the scenes to how they put all this together. Remember this? Don't look at it. Shut your eyes, Mary, and don't look at it no matter what happens. We were about to have a movie of that. You guys wanted it fixed, and look what we got. So, as a shot in the dark, I created a petition in hopes that us, the fans, can make a difference. If you would like an extended version of this classic movie, click on that petition below, share it in your groups, and let's make this happen. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys later. This is Naisha Marine, and I'm just an average girl. Stay tuned.